Hi guys, let's discuss today's set of questions. Here's the first one. Who has recently been appointed <coughs> appointed uh, an SDG advocate, uh, that is Sustainable Development Goal Advocate by the United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres? Well, the answer is uh, all of them actually. Um, so I'm going to give you some dope on, some knowledge, uh, some note on uh, you know <clears throat> the SDGs and then we'll discuss the names of some of the other advocates um, of SDGs okay and I'll also tell you who the who are these uh, four superstars so why don't we write this sustainable development goals dash <clears throat> promoted by the UN development program promoted by the UN development program Okay, to, to bring in to bring in a more equitable more equitable um, more equitable fair society more equitable fair society. with better quality of life with a better quality of life better quality of life for all people for all people across the world across the world for all people across the world <clears throat> next some of the 17 SDGs some of the 17 SDGs, 17 are, there are 17, 17 SDGs. When you write in plural, you should always use a small s, okay? No apostrophe here. 17 SDGs, comma, to be achieved by, to be achieved by, to be achieved by 2030, comma, are, some of the 17 SDGs, comma, to be achieved by 2030, comma, are, right, one, no poverty, no poverty, no poverty, P-O-V-E-R-T-Y, no poverty, comma, zero hunger, zero, Z-E-R-O, zero hunger, comma, good health, good health, good health and well-being good health and well-being next quality education quality education next gender equality gender equality next Clean water and sanitation. Clean water and sanitation. And uh, the last one we can write. We're not going to write all of them, of course. Uh, and affordable and clean energy. Affordable and clean energy. Affordable and clean energy. We wrote, I think, seven of them. Seven of those uh, SDGs. Mm? So, different people here have been made advocates. Uh, there are 17 SDGs, 17 advocates, and all of these have, you know, um, all of these SDGs have an advocate. Like, um, Kailash Satyarthi is primarily to, you know, focus on education, you know, quality education. So, like that, um, sorry, um, you know, it's more to do with uh, child well-being, Kaila Satyarthi. So, when it comes to Microsoft's uh, Brad Smith, uh, it's about digital technology, okay, the impact it might, you know, it has on the well-being of people. 
the idea is to reduce inequalities all kinds um, you know gender inequality income inequality and other kind of you know uh, lack of access to resources is a major inequality or an uneven access to you know um, resources is a major inequality so um, there are some of them and why don't you write the names of some other advocates other than what's you know other than the ones that mentioned here yeah, okay so please write four are mentioned Satyati, Munoj, uh, uh, Smith and uh, the black pink uh, four guys there you could write next um, Ghana president Ghana president so the president of Ghana is an advocate what's the name of this guy Nana Akufo Ando Nana Akufo Ando okay next you could also write the name of Dia Mirza of India Dia Mirza yeah you could look at um, Norway Prime Minister Erna Solberg Erna Solberg Hmm, anything here? Eh? Yeah, Professor of Economics Zephrish Sachs He is considered to be one of the world's leading authorities on uh, solutions to eradicating poverty The free sacks This should be fine here yeah. Hey, why not we write the name of one more guy Forrest Whitaker, Hollywood uh, actor Winner of the Oscar award for this beautiful film called um, You know um, the last king of scotland have you watched this movie the last king of scotland now forrest whitaker plays the role of the ugandan dictator dictator of uganda between 1971 uh, and 79 a guy called idi amin idi idi amin a m i n okay he played the role of idi amin the dictator and that's a central theme of the movie what he did as the dictator of the country no, in this eight years between 1970 and 79, when Idi Amin ruled the country, he discriminated vastly against Asians, especially against Indians and Europeans. Uh, more than Europeans, it was the Asians he was against uh, because uh, a lot of Indians were there and they controlled levers of the economy, especially the sugarcane industry and all that stuff. Um, so he moved against those guys and he forced their migration a lot of those migrate a lot of those guys migrated to britain yeah um for that role forrest whitaker won the oscar you should watch the movie the last king of scotland now you may wonder uh, how is this uh, african country uganda's dictator could be called the last king of scotland well that was a title he gave himself <laughs> yes, yes, he gave the title to himself and you should watch um, this movie. You will understand a lot of good things. I watched the movie much after, um, and because the movie came much after I read the book in 2001 or sometime. It, the name of the book is the same, The Last King of Scotland, written by Giles Foden, G-I-L-E-S, Giles Foden, F-O-D-E-N. If you're not the reading type, watch the movie. You will have you will have great enjoyment you can watch this with your family there is no obscenity okay yeah now what are the names of the four black pink act um, singers you could write this black pink k-pop is korean pop remember this korean pop Archkal, you know a lot of people watch um, uh, korean dramas on tvs and uh, netflix and um, you know youtube and all that stuff so why don't you write the names of the four um Ginny? I'll just write the names here. Lisa. Oh, I, I normally keep track of all these kinds of things because they help us understand the world we live in. Hmm? I don't have enough space here. Chisu. 
Jisu Jini Lisa Rose. They sound more like Malayali names actually. Yeah? But then they are Kerlings. Oh, so they are Koreans. Yeah? Koreans. K for Kerala, K for Korea. So, see, when we look at the word pop, pop music, popcorn, what does this mean? Pop is popular, popular music. Popcorn, popular corn, not the corn that we normally have. It also makes a sound pop, that's another way, but the actual sound comes from, actual name comes from popular corn. Corn became pretty popular among the common people through use of, you know, this particular thing. Okay? Because see, maize or corn is a staple food in much of Africa and South America. Central America also, but not in the United States and Europe. And that is where they began to sell it as a very popular, I mean, popcorn kind of thing. So it expanded the market for corn. Okay. Oh, there's a map here. Which of the following nations names took part in the two-day bilateral, bi means two, lat means side, okay? Bilateral maritime exercise named Samudra Shakti on 20th, you know, sometime in September 2021. Well, India and Indonesia, this is Indonesia, you see here in the one particular color, this is all Indonesia, okay? You see the same color islands, these are all Indonesia, fair? So you could write up, you know, about Indonesia. Please write Indonesia. Capital Jakarta. Capital Jakarta. President Joko Widodo. Currency Rupiah. Mm, rupiah. Apart from the three things we usually write about nations, why don't we write a little more about Indonesia? You could write world's largest archipelago. World's largest archipelago. Archipelago. What's an archipelago? Archipelago in brackets you could write group of islands. Group of islands. Indonesia has more than 16,000 islands. That's a lot of islands. Okay. You could also write world's fourth most populous. World's fourth most populous. Populous means population. Full of population. Full of people. World's fourth most populous and most populous Muslim country. And most populous Muslim country. And most populous Muslim country. Okay? Yeah. Most populous Muslim country. Mm. This should be fine, yeah. This bilateral exercise has more to do with the um, warning of China, telling China that, look, we are friends. Because China claims this entire area here, um, China claims the whole of um, Southeast China, South China, see this one. So it actually impinges on the territories of, uh, you know, Indonesia, Malaysia and all these places. So that's a major thing. Sri Lanka, I think we already know, but anyway, we just uh, can revise uh, with better stuff. Sri Lanka has two capitals. One is Colombo. The other one is called Sri Jayavardhane Jayavardhane Pure One word, huh? Jayavardhane Pure Kotte. It's an extension, it's a suburb of the city of Colombo, so that's where the government sits. Sri Jayavardhane Pure Kotte. The president is a guy named Gotabaya Rajapaksa. Gotabaya Rajapaksa. And the currency is Sri Lankan rupee. Sri Lankan rupee. Hmm. What about Malaysia? 
you see the Malaysia has two portions. You see the country in green here. This is uh, called Peninsular Malaysia and this is called East Malaysia. Okay. This entire island you see here is called, this is the island of Borneo. Okay guys, before I discuss Malaysia, just something here. This is the island of Borneo. This is the third biggest island in the world. The largest is Greenland. Second largest is this island here called New Guinea. New Guinea. The west, in the eastern part of the island of New Guinea is a separate country called Papua New Guinea. Now coming to the western part is part of Indonesia. Fair? Now Borneo, the southern part of Borneo is Indonesia. See the same color. Malaysia is where you have in the, in the northern part, northeastern part. But within the Malaysian area, you find this small stretch of land here. I am just circling this particular thing. This is the country of Brunei. Chota desh hai, kafi chota desh hai pe. This is a very tiny country. See, 99% um, of my talk is in English and 1% could be there in Hindi because we have a large Hindi audience. But I don't speak only in Hindi. I first speak that whatever the idea is in English and then repeat that in Hindi. Okay. So the guys who don't understand Hindi don't really have to worry because I first speak in English, you know. Um, you have Brunei, which is this tiny kingdom. And you see this Malaysia, Indonesia, Brunei are all Muslim countries. Okay. There are Muslim countries. Now coming to uh, these three, in fact, they're all Hindu nations in the past. Hindu and Buddhist, they turned Islamic. Now coming to this particular thing, you see Philippines here and this particular country in you know a different color here down here. Okay, this East Timor, Philippines and East Timor are Roman Catholic countries. Now coming, you know, one more thing, the you know these are all Buddhist nations. These are all Buddhist nations here. Fair. Yeah. So Malaysia, you could write Malaysia. Uh, Malaysia again has two capitals. One is Putrajaya. Putrajaya and the second one is Kaula Lumpur. Kaula Lumpur. Kaula Lumpur. The it's a rotating monarchy. You know, there are nine kings here. Yeah. They take turns to become the Raja, Sultan, they call the you know the monarch Sultan. And this time the Prime Minister, they have a new Prime Minister, Ex expect this question in the exam, okay, Ismail Yaqub, Ismail Shabri Yaqub, but you simply write Ismail Yaqub, that should be fine. The currency is ringgit, does it ring a bell, ringgit, okay. Hmm. So, we have um, South Korea, no, Thailand. This is Thailand, you see. Hmm? It's a predominantly Buddhist country. Thailand's capital is, I will write here, Bangkok. The king's name is, there is a monarchy here and, um, you know, um, Monarchy, you should understand that um, when we are talking about monarchy and everything, they have a prime minister, but the monarchy is all powerful. Okay. Um, the name of the king is Maha Vajira Longkorn. That's one name. Okay. Two separate names of goods Maha Vajira Longkorn. Maha Vajira Longkorn. And okay, so you have the currency part that should be fine. The, this guy belongs to his official name is Rama the tenth, Rama the tenth, because these guys believe they are the descendants of descendants of the Raghuvamsa dynasty of Ayodhya. And their dynasty's name is Chakri, Chakri dynasty. Vansh ka naam hai, Chakri. And his official name is Rama the Tenth. Oh, it's a very long official name, but finally, Rama the Tenth. 
South Korea. Up here, you find you would have found South Korea, which is in south of North Korea. So, South Korea's capital is Seoul. The E is silent. The president is Moon J in and the currency is won south korean won south korean won chika chaliye abdul aziz butaflika who passed away recently was the former president of algeria this is algeria you can see it was ruled by france for a long long time this is the largest country in africa you could write this 23.8 lakh square kilometers at 23.8 lakh square kilometers it is the largest country in africa by area by area okay 23.8 lakh square kilometers so this guy was the president between 1999 and 2019 he was forced to resign last year forced the year before that because of ill health okay and even before that he didn't appear in public for almost um, 18 months wheelchair bound chap um shall we write the capitals of these places if not anything else because too much of uh, or is it shall we write the leaders okay we will write the leaders only the current president of algeria is abdul majid not abdul abdul this is how he writes his name majid tibun abdul majid tibun egypt abdul fateh separate names Ab abdul fateh el sisi is the dictator most of these guys are dictators yeah ethiopia has a prime minister a nobel laureate in peace ahmed or abi ahmed abi ahmed niger this is niger hmm uh i'm so sorry i i goofed up I'm sorry guys because the spelling of mohammed in this guy's case is slightly different Muhammad, this is the official spelling, okay, of this guy's name, Bazoum. Muhammad Bazoum, the president. Sudan has a prime minister, Abdullah Hamdok. Abdullah Hamdok. Hamdok, H A M D O K. ठीक है? चलिए. Which state's first in uh, India's 61st software technology park has been inaugurated in uh, Nagaland? Okay, Nagaland. Nagaland. This is Nagaland. You can see this is Nagaland, and this is uh, uh, one of India's smallest states by area, about 10,000 square kilometers. Would make it in the bottom three, bottom four of India's states. And guys, you should know that Nagas, uh, Nagaland's capital is Kohima. and the prime minister the, the chief minister is if you rio if you rio that's the chief minister mizoram this is mizoram mm. um mizoram's capital is aizol and the chief minister is pu zoram thanga Zoram Thanga. Arunachal Pradesh. The capital is Ita Nagar. And the Prime Minister. I'm so sorry. Why did I miss saying Prime Minister? The Chief Minister. Pema Khandu. Pema Khandu. Okay. Manipur's capital is Imphal. Imphal, and the chief minister is Biren Singh. The 
ఎక్స్పీరియన్సి మేఘాలయ షిలాంగ్ నిక్ నేమ్ ద ప్యారిస్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా షిలాంగ్ అండ్ ద చీఫ్ మినిస్టర్ ఈస్ కాంద్రడ్ సాంగ్మా కాంద్రడ్ సాంగ్మా కాంద్రడ్ సాంగ్మా కాంద్రడ్ సాంగ్మా ఓకే See, when you look at Arunachal Pradesh, it is India's least densely populated state. It has a density of about 17 persons per square kilometer. So, India's least densely populated state is Arunachal Pradesh. Okay? India has been ranked dash on the League of the World's most valuable equity markets in 2021 after adding more than $1 trillion to its market capitalization. Now, what is market capitalization? There are two methods of sharing, you know, calculating thing, but one is more famous. So, you could write MCAP or market capitalization number of issued shares multiplied by market price of each share one share or each share number of issue shares multiplied by market price of each share so let's say a company has issued 1 lakh shares the market price of each share is let's say 50 rupees 1 lakh into 50 50 lakh rupees that's how it is got it that's the market value of the company's capital that's why it's called market capitalization okay and the market's hit historic lows on 20th of march 2020 when the lockdown was announced yeah things went very bad but since you see we are in september now end september and um, since last 12 months in the last 12 months the sensex has gone up by 23% and that's a bombay stock exchange sensex has gone up by 23% and um, the nifty nsc nifty has gone up by 25% so 23% sensex and 25% nifty okay so you need to understand that um, these are all subject to change prices change market cap changes and which is india's most you know which company has the highest market cap in india reliance industries reliance industries so see for example reliance industries about a year back um, touched 2200 rupees each year touched 2200 rupees you know for about 7 months it was below you know it, it did not come back to that it fell from 2200 and it did not come back come up to that level for almost 7 to 8 months what 7 to 8 months so almost 10 months only in this month uh, the price has gone up beyond 2500 rupees i keep track of all these things it's fun to know i don't have to own shares to know these things but it's good to learn hmm uh, what about countries that have the you know higher market cap than india why don't you write this um countries with top 3 countries or because india's rank is 6 why don't we look at top 5 yeah right top 5 countries with market capitalization with market capitalization yeah top 5 countries dash by market capitalization by market capitalization india's um, market cap is 3.4 now but okay i'll give you the list right um one us so rank country market cap in dollar trillion 1 trillion equals 1 trillion equals 1000 billion okay 1 trillion equals 1000 billion so us 51.3 trillion 
Yeah, yeah. 51,300 billion, man. That's a lot of things, huh? Um, China. Very small. 12.4. Three. Japan. See, actually, if you look at the GDP numbers, also the similar the ranking. Three, Japan. That's how I remember. Japan. Some number about 7.4. 7.4. Similar. 7.4. 0.4.4. Next, four, Hong Kong. 6.5 trillion dollars. That's a lot. Five. UK. Three point seven, Japan's other three point seven. Off of what Japan's market cap is, all the companies put together their market capitalization. Six India, three point four trillion dollars. See, I'll tell you this: the scale of the fifty-one point three trillion dollars. If you add the market capitalization of Apple, Microsoft. That would be more than the mark Apple, Microsoft, and Google, three companies. The market cap of these three companies together would be more than the market cap of all Indian companies. Yes. Yeah. Charanjit Singh Channi has recently been sworn in as the Chief Minister of Punjab. You all know this. Punjab. Is it? Punjab. Um, Punjab, Haryana's chief minister is Manohar Lal Khattar. Manohar Lal Khattar. Bihar, Nitish Kumar, you know the name. Nitish Kumar. Uttarakhand, Pushkar Singh Dhami. Pushkar Singh Dhami, hmm. Uttar Pradesh, Yogi Adityanath, Yogi Adityanath, Hate Chilli and Tamanglong Mandarin Orange have recently been granted the geographical indication tag. These two are native to Manipur. Now, geographical indication is about tagging. You know, a particular product with a particular region this region is what it is famous this is grown in that region it gets its aroma smell taste unique features because of where it is grown where it is cultivated i'm talking about agriculture products okay so these two have got and i was reading about this and i found that that um, you know that mirchi there chili yeah what is it called uh, hate chili is also called you write this. You may get this in the exam. What is the other name for this chili? Sirara Kong chili. Sirara Kong chili. There is a village called Ch Sirara Kong. It is grown in that area. Now, the chili grown in this particular village, in the area around this village, is unique. It in its smell, in its taste, yeah, in the and and uh, overall product. But if you look at the same chili grown a little away from the village, it doesn't have the same qualities. You know, doesn't it doesn't have the same taste, doesn't have the same quality, doesn't have the same smell. That's why geographical identification. Okay. And it is believed that the other chilies grown in the areas around are inferior to the Sirara Kong chili now coming to the tamanglong mandarin tamanglong is a group of mountains it's a hilly small hilly range in manipur uh, you know manipur that's where it is um, you know grown in large numbers basically this farming these two provides a main income to the people living in these parts of the world okay so i guess that's about it. Oh, cm of one state we can write cm of sikkim is Prem Singh Tamang. Prem Singh Tamang. 
and you should know that he is um, um, nicknamed P.S. Lote. He is also called P.S. Lote. What's the capital? Gangtok. And you know what? It is India's smallest state by population. India's smallest state by population. India's smallest state by population. Population is under 10 lakhs and um, area wise it's second smallest after that is after Goa. Assam, um, let's revise what we learned in the previous classes. Himanta, Biswa, Sarma. Himanta, Biswa, Sarma. Dash is a monetary measure of the market value of all the final goods and services produced in a period of time in country. The period of time is usually a 12 month period and that's the definition of GDP. The market value of all goods and services produced in one country in one year. You could write that way also. Market value, simple bhasha mein, market value of all goods and services produced in one country in one year is called gross domestic product it's pronounced gross not gross 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 domestic product so let's say in a 12 month period india would produce goods and services the value of everything that is produced is added the final value we get is gdp okay we would produce this phone we would produce this bottle this ac yeah, the slides, the chairs, the laptop, everything. I would deliver a service. I'm delivering a service and I'm paid for this service. The, the value of the service, the price of each of the products here, each of the, the products, everything is added. And the final value you get is gross domestic product. Gross means total. Domestic means within the national boundaries of the country. I'm so sorry. The national boundaries of the country. So, I'm sorry. <coughs> Um, when you would look at um, which country is the biggest by GDP, why don't we write this? This is the definition. Chalo, G um, top top six countries. You write top six countries by GDP in brackets nominal. In the next class, I'll tell you what is the difference between nominal and the other one purchasing power parity, but not now. Okay. It will take a lot of time. Cheek. One, United States, 22.6. I'll give you one decimal point. 22.6. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Nominal. Here you write in dollar trillion. <laughs> I forgot to write this. Or you could write simply here dash trillion. Yeah. And we already mentioned that 1 trillion equals 1000 billion, 1000 billion. Next, China, you write China, 16.6, 16 16.6, 16.6, put data marks, 3, Japan, 5 point, see it's 5.37, so I'll make it 5.4, the higher end, okay? 4, Germany, 4 is G Germany, G-E-R, Germany, 4.3, 4.3, 5, UK, 3.1 6 India 3.0 3.05 it is but it's okay 3.0 I normally don't like 6 7 is my lucky number I'm just kidding Right, seven, France, France, 2.9, 2.9. Okay, so look at that GDP. 
in the period that india produced goods and services worth 3 trillion dollars america produced 22 and a half trillion dollars which means america's economy is seven times its econ economic output is seven times more than india's same time by the same period okay china's almost more than five times china's more than five times so this is how you look at these numbers hmm? which state has recently inaugurated a development product product development center named digital hub built as one of the largest in south asia kerala what is it in kerala you could write in kochi kochi k o c h i kochi 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 then andhra pradesh y s jagan mohan reddy that's the name of the chief minister Jagan Mohan Reddy, Maharashtra, Uddhav Thakre, Kerala, Pinarayi Vijayan. Tamil Nadu, Muttuvel, Karunanidhi, Stalin, Karnataka, Basavaraj, Bombay, Basavaraj, Bombay. We got all man. Cool. Which, uh, sorry, India's first indigenously natively developed, designed um, high ash coal gasification based methanol production plant was demonstra demonstrated at the BHEL R&D center in Hyderabad. Um, BHEL is Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited. Bharat Heavy, Bharat BHERT. Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited. Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited. So, okay. You could write CEO Nalin Singhal or Chairman Nalin Singhal. Chairman Managing Director Nalin Singhal. See, BHEL is India's largest electronic equipment maker, electrical equipment maker in the public sector. This company makes all kinds of things, all kinds of electrical products for the energy industry, for the you know electronics industry, for um, what's a power industry. Okay, you name a thing, they make a product for that basically in the electronics industry. Mm -hmm. So, anything else that we could discuss here? Not much actually. India's pious Jain has recently won the second successive under 17 title in Tunisia. He's associated with table tennis. He's a second, uh, he's a table tennis um, player. A table tennis guy is also called a paddler. Remember this. Also called paddler. That's the name. Okay. Paddler. Coming to Tunisia, I'll just mention, Tunisia is the northernmost country in Africa. If you look at, um, I'll just take you to Africa, back to Africa. Ah. This is Tunisia. You see this, this country here? This is Tunisia. It's the northernmost country in Africa. Ah. So, Tunisia's capital is Tunis. There's a lot of political problems in this country. The capital is Tunis. In fact, the country is named after the capital. Okay. And its president is Kais um, Saeed. This is the name. Okay. Kais Saeed. In some places, you may not find this A here. Different people, different spellings. But that's more accepted. This is more accepted. Okay. Kais Saeed. That's the name of the president. And the currency is dinar, Tunisian dinar, Tunisian dinar.
with state government has recently declared Katli as or Katli as a state fish, Sikkim. Right? Sikkim. Now, can you tell me? Uh, of course, there is not. It is not an interactive session, but I would want you to think a little hard about it. What is India's national animal? You would tell me, Bengal tiger, Royal Bengal tiger. You would be right. Which is India's national sport? India has no national sport. No, there is no national sport. Not hockey, not kabaddi. India does not have a national sport. What is India's national language? There is no lang national language. India does not have a national language. Remember this, India does not have a national language. India has two official languages, Hindi and English. And 20, 22 scheduled languages. 22 scheduled languages. Okay, but otherwise there is no national language. Hmm. Yeah, sometimes these kinds of things surprise us. India has a national microbe. National microbe. India's national microbe is Lactobacillus delbruki. Delbruki. Lactobacillus delbruki. Tika? Chief Minister of Madhya Pradesh, India's second biggest state by area is Shivraj Singh Chauhan. Shivraj Singh Chauhan. Which company will launch India's first luxury cruise liner in collaboration with Cordelia Cruises? IRCTC. That's a full form of IRCTC. Indian Railway Catering and Tourism Corporation and Government of India Mini Ratna Company. You could write IRCTC. I'm going to discuss only this choice. IRCTC. Central Public Sector Enterprise Mini Ratna Established 1999 Established 1999, Chairperson Rajini Hasija, Chairperson Rajini Hasija, Rajini Hasija, next, Rajini Hasija, next, um, Main business, main business, there are four main businesses. See, you need to know this to become familiar with terms. Okay, this is something you could use elsewhere also. Yeah, main business one, catering, two, tourism and hospitality, hotels, and all that stuff. They sell tourism packages, hospitality. This is one, this is two, three. Um, what is that? Um, package drinking water. Package drinking water. Package drinking water. And four. Internet ticketing. Internet ticketing. Internet ticketing. Internet ticketing. Chali. With which nation has India commenced a 15-day battalion level military training exercise named Surya Kiran in Uttarakhand's Pitoragad Pitora with a focus on um, counter-terror drills and disaster relief operations, Nepal. Surya Kiran exercise is always with Nepal. Okay, um, Because these are the former ruling house of Nepal was a Surya Vamshi. So yeah, Surya Vamshi. Suri Manshi is also the name of an upcoming film, isn't it? Yeah. Keep track of everything, man. So, Nepal, you want to, this is Nepal. Hmm? Bhutan, Bangladesh, Myanmar, Pakistan. See, the short boundary we have, we have with Tajikistan. This is it. Okay. Afghanistan, this is the Wakhan Corridor in Assam. Oh, sorry. Uh, Tajikistan. <laughs> I don't know where the words come from in my mind. Too much of clutter, I guess. 
Okay, uh, why don't we write about Nepal? Nepal, capitalist Kathmandu, Kathmandu, uh, the Prime Minister is Sher Bahadur Dioba. Sher Bahadur Dioba. That's the name of the Prime Minister. And the currency is Nepali rupee. Nepali rupee. Tika? Next. Myanmar. Myanmar's capital is here. Yaha pe hoongi hai. Naipi Do. Myanmar. Naipi Do. Min. Liang. Ong. That's the name of the leader of the country. Or you could say. President. Technically not president. But Min. Liang Ong, leader of Myanmar. He is a guy who captured power in a military coup. China, oh China we know. Hey, uh, if you want to know the name of the currency of um, Naipid, uh, what is it, Myanmar, it is Kyat. Currency of Myanmar, Kyat. China, Xi Jinping, you know the capital, you know the name of the president, I'm just repeating for your benefit. And the currency is Ren Min B. Ren Min B. Ren Min B. Okay. I guess that should be fine. Yeah. Sri Lanka we took a while ago, so I don't think we need to worry too much about Bhutan. Tiny content. Chalo, Bhutan ke baram likhte This is Bhutan. The capital is Thimpu. So this is about Bhutan. Thimpu. The capital is Thimpu. Um, there is a king here named Kesar Namgyal Wangchuk. Kesar Jingye Jigme Namgyal Wangchuk. But this is a king and the prime minister is so PM Lote Sharing. Lote Sharing. Yeah. Currency is Gultrum. I'll write it here. Gultrum. Currency of Bhutan, Gultrum. Sorry. According to the World Intellectual Property of Mission India was ranked dash in World sorry Global Innovation Index 2021 46. So why don't we write this VPO Global Innovation Index 2021 hmm? ranks top five one write this one most innovative is of course Switzerland. Switzerland, two, Sweden, two, Sweden, S W E D E N, three, United States, United States, four, United Kingdom, United Kingdom, five, South Korea, South Korea. So one, Switzerland, two, Sweden, three, US, four, UK, five, South Korea. Rank 12, China. Rank 12, China. Rank 46. Rank 46, India. Rank 46, India. Chika, Chaya. The sixth edition of the BRICS Young Summits of Young Scientists Forum was recently hosted by India. We know about these countries, most of these countries, but anyway, 
Brazil. Brasilia is the capital. Brasilia is the capital. The president is Jair Bolsonaro. President Jair Bolsonaro. Jair Bolsonaro. Okay, Jair Bolsonaro. Next. Um, the currency is real. You could also write a couple of more things. Fifth biggest by area. Fifth biggest by area. And sixth by population. And sixth by population. And sixth by population. It's the largest Portuguese speaking country in the world. Hmm? My eyes are burning, man. So, uh, is there anything that we could discuss? I think uh, one more choice. We could discuss either Russia or South Africa. What do we discuss? We will pick South Africa. Three capitals Bloemfontein. Three capitals. One, Bloemfontein. Two, Cape Town. Three, Pretoria. Pretoria. Okay. President. Cyril Ramaphosa. Cyril Rama Fossa, P H O S A. Okay, let me just clear this entire thing. I'll just write Rama Fossa again. Cyril Rama Fossa. Currency is Rand. Bulgarian president Ruman Radev, when a word ends in V in East European and Europe in a Russian language, the V is pronounced with an F. Ruman Radev has appointed Stefan Yanov to lead an interim government until the country hold its third set of parliamentary elections this year in November. The capital of Bulgaria is Sofia. This is Bulgaria. It's a tiny country. It's a little over one lakh square kilometer area. This is Bulgaria. Okay. Bulgaria. Um, the capitals we are discussing. Bucharest is the capital of Romania. Romania. Why don't we write the name of the president also? Romania's president is... Uh, sorry. Romania's president is... Klaus... Iohannis. President is Klaus Iohannis. And the currency is Liu. L E U. Liu. L E U. Liu. Romania. Couple of more choices we could write. Uh, what could be the capital of, what could be the um, currency of Bulgaria? The capital of Bulgaria is Sofia. The president is Ruman Radev. It's a presidential system. So the president, uh, sorry, it's a parliamentary system. So the parliament is important. But for now, it's an interim government. So we'll not name, you know, we don't know the full time. We don't have the name of the full time prime minister. Bulgaria's uh, currency is Lev, L-E-V. Bulgaria, Lev. Romania, Liu. Why don't we look at the choices? Um, you know this too. Warsaw, Poland. This is Poland. You see this? Poland. Okay, and next time I'll write on the map. The president is Andrzej Duda. Mm. Andres Duda. Check. Next. Currency is Zloty. The currency of that um, war, Poland is Zloty.
look at the last one here maybe we'll discuss only budapest this is budapest kape hungary yaar here this is hungary you see this country here hmm? you could write budapest hungary hungary its president is prime minister sorry victor orban this man is seriously anti immigration of the muslims into his country yeah um the currency is foreign chalo ek ek aur finish karte hain riga it's a capital of latvia capital of latvia say this is latvia latvia estonia lithuania three countries hmm? these are called baltic states its prime minister is christianis karens prime minister christianis karens christianis karens is the prime minister and the press the currency is euro currency is euro most of these countries here you know sorry these countries here they were all satellites of soviet union and these countries here you see this this line that i have drawn drawn here they were all part of the soviet union hmm this is the headquarters of the international labor organization geneva switzerland so you could write ilo established 1919 established 1919 head office second point head office geneva switzerland third point third point secretary general sorry director general guy rider guy rider of uk united kingdom we'll take one more rome is mentioned here so we'll write the fau food and agricultural organization food and agricultural organization food and agriculture organization um head office in rome it's a un specialized agency like ilo it's headed by ku dongyu of sorry of china ku dongyu of china ku dongyu of china yes what is the minimum amount of funds that could be transferred during the immediate payment service imps there is no limit just write one sentence because you would already know what is imps and i have already given you notes in the past so just to revise right imps imps sorry um nash immediate payment service immediate payment service immediate payment service dash provided by national provided by national payments corporation of india national payments corporation of india national payments corporation of india dash provides provides 24 by 7 24 7 some people also write it like this no ha both are fine round the clock is better na provides 24 by 7 real time real time electronic funds transfer electronic funds transfer electronic funds transfer 
comma even on holidays even on holidays even on holidays okay fair man b r b n m p l is a wholly owned subsidiary of the rpi but what is this you write this bharatiya reserve bank bharatiya reserve bank note mudran private limited भारतीय रिजर्व बैंक नोट मुद्रण प्राइवेट लिमिटेड नोट मुद्रण प्राइवेट लिमिटेड अंडरलाइन दैट फर्स्ट पॉइंट एस्टाब्लिश 1995 एस्टाब्लिश 1995 सेकंड पॉइंट होली ओन्ड सब्सिडियरी ऑफ आरबीआई होली ओन्ड सब्सिडियरी ऑफ आरबीआई next head office bengaluru bengaluru next specialized division specialized division of the rbi specialized division of the rbi dash mints coins and notes mints coins and notes coins are minted notes are printed but it's okay ah huh? mints coins and notes last point two units two units or two presses two printing presses two printing presses at mysuru in karnataka and salboni in west bengal mysuru in karnataka and salboni at west bengal hmm cool the government of india has decided to bring the department of public enterprises under the minister of finance minister of finance why don't we look at the names of the ministers uh, minister of finance nirmala sitaraman nirmala sitaraman also corporate affairs minister corporate affairs minister next science and technology there is no cabinet minister there is a minister of state minister of state snt dr jitendra singh jitendra singh minister of state for snt dr jitendra singh then home affairs you know amit shah amit shah ministry of heavy industries and public enterprises in fact there is no public enterprises simply called ministry of heavy industries is mahendra nath mahendra nath pande mahendra nath pande then minister of commerce and industry piyush goyal piyush goyal shall we find amazon has launched its first digital kendra in gujarat in gujarat why don't you write um, that amazon's head office is in seattle us that's 1 for 0.1 to founder chairman founder chairman currently the same guy founder chairman founder chairman um founder chairman is jeff bejos third ceo andy jassy or andrew see and with jassy okay one more point biggest internet company in the world 
biggest internet company in the world biggest internet company in the world biggest internet company it's five times more than more than five times bigger than reliance industries okay gujarat has a new chief minister bhupendra patel bhupendra patel i think this should be it man uh, i think telangana my state k chandrashekhar rao k chandrashekhar rao which ministry has launched sparsh system for pension administration raksha defense rajnath singh was it rajnath singh will not take the names of all the ministries here just two more ministries rajnath singh ashwini vaishnav he writes with the w if i'm not wrong vaishnav i'm so sorry how did i goof it up yeah women in the child development smriti irani smriti irani Which company has announced a set of publishing and subscription tools named Bulletin, aimed to provide uh, promote independent writers? Facebook's the answer. So, what is Bulletin? You could write this Bulletin dash launched by Facebook, launched by Facebook dash to help writers to help writers with content creation. content creation content content is matter not content content is satisfaction content creation comma monetization so how to earn money from that monetize monetization and 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 audience growth audience growth and audience growth एंड ऑडियंस ग्रोथ चलिए एक काम करते हैं विल जस्ट राइट द नेम्स ऑफ द सी ई ऑफ दिस कंपनीज ऑल अमेरिकन कंपनीज हेड ऑफिस यू डोंट रियली रिक्वायर फॉर योर एग्जाम्स जैक डॉर्सी इज अ सी ई ओ ऑफ ट्विटर फेसबुक मार्क जकबर्ग Facebook owns WhatsApp and Instagram, so nothing more. Same, yeah. Um, Google, Sundar Rajan Pichai or Sundar Pichai. Microsoft, Satya Narayana Narella or Satya Narella. Satya Narella. ठीक है सी द वर्ड इंस्टाग्राम कम्स फ्रॉम टू सेपरेट वर्ड्स इंस्टेंट कैमरा एंड टेलीग्राम दैट्स हाउ द नेम कम्स ठीक है आ दैट्स अबाउट इट थैंक्स फॉर बीइंग हियर हैव अ लॉट ऑफ फन स्टे क्यूरियस गाइस